Hello guys, welcome to SAS TV. So in this video, we are going to implement an endpoint to create an employee. And the same will be achieved using up the post verb. So let's get started. So the first thing we will do write the verb, which is HTTP post. And then we will write the function signature, public post. This will return boolean type. Alright, so the name of the function will be create employee. And in here, we will accept the employee parameter. What is the employee? So this is the employee model which has this many properties. Okay. So now let's write the function body. At first, let's write the try catch block. All right. And let's throw the exception we have received here. Okay. And uh, let's return true here if everything goes out well. Okay. All right. So now, um, before adding the employee in the employee list, let's validate the endpost first. Okay. All right. So there can be a lot of validations in this model. But in our case, we'll be only checking the name property and the email property. Okay. So um, let's check if both of them are not empty. And for that, we'll write an if condition where if employee dot name equal equal string dot empty we can either write it like this or there is a better way so we just remove this part we come in the front and we say string dot is null or empty this does the same thing just the way of code is better right so if if the employee dot name is empty we'll throw an exception saying employee name is empty okay now let's copy this entire condition and use the same for email as well. Okay. Now since we have checked both the name and the email parameter, so let's go ahead and check if this employee already exists in the existing employee list. All right. And for that, let's write a link queue first. So where check employee exists equals let's write from el in employee list this will be a where condition where el dot name dot equals the employee name so what are we checking we're checking if any row in the employee list has the same name as of the employee provided here if yes we'll select the row and then finally instead of selecting all the records we just get the counter okay so what this returns is actually a integer variable so check employee exists is actually an in integer variable and this will tell us how many records match with the current employee name thing all right so let's write the condition now if check employee exists greater than zero we'll throw an exception saying employee already exist okay that makes sense awesome so the next thing will be to add this particular employee since all the checks are passed now now the thing is to add this particular employee in the employee list and we can simply achieve that using this particular line employee list dot add and we'll just simply say employee but wait there is a problem here so if you are writing a link queue query for a table, this works absolutely fine because the identity property for a primary key column, basically the ID column will always be true and the ID will automatically increase whenever you insert a record. But if the identity property is not set to true or let's say in our case because it's a private list and the ID column will not be automatically incremented, the ID column will always be zero and this can create problems. So in our case, what we have to do is we first have to get the maximum ID from the existing list. And for that, we'll write a link queue. So let's write that where max employee ID equals from EL in employee list. We'll do a order by and that will be in descending. All right. So el dot id descending and finally we'll select the el dot id 
first or default all right so what this does we are looping through the employee list we are doing an order by and our descending order by on the id column and finally we are selecting the ids which is the first id okay and now the only thing we have to do here is you have to say employee dot id equals max employee plus one why did we do that because the max employee is currently the last record which is particularly this one the five so if we just say five only this one this will create problem right so that's why five plus one equals six all right and finally we just add the employee here so let's add the comments here getting the latest employee id and incrementing it with one all right and in here we are adding the employee adding the employee in the list all right so we are ready with the code now let's check it out so the code is up and running let's go ahead in postman let's open a new tab uh, i already have this thing ready here this will be a post type so let's select post the url is this uh, the, this is the port number the api and the controller name so let's select this entire thing paste it here and then we have to mention the body right in our case we this is the body which we have to provide right and this this will be sent only through this uh, body call we, we cannot set it sent it using the url so let's copy this select raw from here select json and paste it so we have id name date of birth email date of joint competency all of them all right now let's put a breakpoint first here go ahead here click on send and now if you check here you will have all the inputs right okay now let's click f1 so we already have a name this will not throw an exception this will not throw an exception this will check all of them and the employee list zero this will not happen and in here it will go through all of them right and finally it will give us five why five because the current employee list has the latest column as five right okay so the employee id is right now zero but five plus one is six so if you see here now the employee id is six and finally we add the em employee in the employee list so if you check now in the employee list we'll see there is a fifth column here and if we expand it we'll have our new name taste name our new employee having the id six right awesome now let's check for some other things as well now in, instead here let's not give anything let's give an in, empty in, right and click on send we'll hit here if we go ahead it throws an exception employee name is empty right awesome so the employee name is empty let's do the same for that as well in here let's don't provide anything here and click on send it will say if you see here the employee email is empty right now let's check with anything else let's again say gmail.com and in our case in here let's say an already existing name let's say shansha and let's click on send so this will again throw an exception a employee already exists why because we already have an employee named Shansha here the first employee right so that is how you create an employee record using post method that's it for this video in the next video we will be updating an existing employee record thank you so much for watching see you in the next video bye bye Tell me that you love me